Hello everyone, thank you very much for clicking and for watching the video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. This is the free game collection. Hope you enjoy it, hope you stay around. If you're a turn subscriber, welcome back. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for joining me once again. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, so I had a lovely week this week. Absolutely lovely week going out, trying to find some games. Really, I feel like I've had a really successful, I've had a nice week generally as well, to be honest with you. Um, I went to a car boot. It was nice and sunny. I weren't worried about whether my car was going to be able to get out of the car park, which is a fantastic piece of mind walking around that is. Um, lovely people, spoke to some people, um, great sellers, had a good few chats. Yeah, just a really nice trip to the car boot this week, to be honest with you. Charity shops and all the other places have been absolutely dead. It is all from one cherry uh, one uh, car boot sorry and as you can see quite a good little stack not the biggest of stacks in the world granted but there's some really good stuff in here and i actually missed out on quite a few things uh, this week it was it was quite competitive this week there was a few things i saw go just before me um so i missed out but i've still got some fantastic things here so i managed to get in there above uh, before some others as well so you can't complain you can't win everything but as long as you win a few you're all right aren't you um so Let's crack on. Let me show you some of this stuff. So, um, okay, so this this first, this this was an interesting one. So there was a, a man and a woman. I asked if you had any games. She was just finishing setting up. She goes, well, I've just only got one or two in the car. They're in the back of the car, they're a bit old. I was like, that's fine. I'll have a look at them. Fantastic. She goes, all right, I'll just go down for you. Thank you very much. Came back round. As she's coming round, she had this with a, a couple extra bits of FIFA. And she goes, yeah, they're a bit old. I looked at them and thought, that's fine. So am I. Best response. She just looked at me and went, yeah. I was like, oh. Cutting, very cutting. You're not supposed to agree so open and honestly with me. But yeah, anyway, I am old and these are a bit old, but still hurt a little bit. Anyway, 50p I paid for these. Call of Duty World at War. Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories on the PSP. And Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories on the PSP. Now, I've already picked two, these two up this year already from a charity shop. Unfortunately, this one didn't have the cartridge in it but who cares? This one doesn't have the manual, but the cartridge is absolutely mint, and this one's absolutely fine. Uh, when I asked how much, 50p in total I paid, but 20p, 10p, and 10p, they only come to 40p, so I think she jacked me out of 10p. So I'm gonna let her off anyway, but I definitely paid 50p for these, but 50p for those three games is absolutely fantastic. So uh, I, I, I would have definitely kept that if I hadn't already picked it up this year. And, and luckily I, I got that earlier with the, the cartridge in, so I'm doing all right. So um, yeah, move those two on and a spare case floating around. I might put that up for sale somewhere. I'm sure there's someone out there that needs the case for that. Next one is, so this one actually, yes, these are two. So I'll do these sort of together. So there was a guy and he had a box and um, he said a pound each on his game. So I had a little rummage through. Um, and firstly, I picked up Guitar Hero 3, Legends of Rock. That, that you see quite often. Grand Theft Auto 4, you see that all the time as well. The staple that is Wii Sports Resort. And would you believe it for what? Is it the fourth week on the trot maybe? Call of Duty Black Ops 2. So he wanted a pound each. He gave me those four for three pound, which is absolutely fantastic. These two especially will get us a nice return. And these as well aren't to be, aren't to be sniffed at. So three pounds for those four, fantastic. I then walked around and just as I was leaving, I popped my head in one last time to have a little look in that box. And it looked like he chucked a few more in since, but from the time that I picked these up, because for an extra pound, I picked up off him Dynasty Warriors 3. Um, I'm not a massive fan of these, to be honest with you. I didn't think I had this in my own collection. Turns out I do, but this is a really nice copy of one. Uh, really, really nice. Uh, but I picked that up off him. And also, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. That definitely wasn't in there when I picked up the first four. Um, so he must have found a few more in the boot of his car. But Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, those two, he gave me those two for a pound. So in total, four pounds for that stack. You ain't sniffing at that, are you? So really, really chuffed to have found those. I was really happy to have got hold of them. Um, next, so this one, this one is I'm not so convinced of. So I might have overpaid, but I, I gambled it. I took the chance. So I paid eight pound for Grand Theft Auto Five and this Xbox One controller. Now I paid eight pounds. She wanted uh, five pound each. She wanted five pound for absolutely everything. Um, I got these. I got them down to four pound each, basically. So eight pound for the two. 
I had a feeling this doesn't work and to be honest, I can't get it to work. So I think I might have bust on this one, but as, as many people say, whenever you buy things, assume they don't work, which I did. I had the foresight to do that because I believe Grand Theft Auto is gonna get us about seven or eight pounds cash back. And um, so it'll clean its face, that one. And um, I probably won't make any money on this deal, but I can't get this to work. And obviously without, without taking it apart and breaking the seal on the back and, and voiding the warranty so CX can't take it, I can't give it a clean or, or see if I can see anything obviously wrong with it. But at this moment in time, I've only had one go at getting this to work to be honest with you. Can't get it to work, um, so that's a shame. But it's a lovely controller, and even if even if I can't get it to work, I'll take this apart because uh, the case, the buttons, everything for it feels fine. It feels absolutely. I can't tell anything that's wrong with it. Um, but yeah, I just can't get it to turn on. So eight pounds for those two. Mm, although, unfortunately, that would you if that worked, that would be an absolute steal. But I think that's pretty much going to wipe this face. Um, so yeah, not not great, but not bad. But you you know you've got to consider these things when you buy. I know it's a sad state of affairs that when you're buying things in a car boot, you have to assume that they don't work. Um, but it is true. You do have to. You do have to. So mate, you never know. I might be able to get that to work. Fingers crossed, I do. But I don't think it does. Um, I tell you what, sticking on this, uh, an alternative. Look at this. Look at that. Three pounds I paid for this. The guy wanted five, asked if he'd take three, and he said yes straight away. So I was surprised at that. This does work. This works absolutely fine. So it's an Xbox One controller. It's a, it's a, like a pro controller. It's got the buttons at the back as well. And um, it's got the little stick out here to sort of control your, your left and right trigger. But it's a Spider-Man custom. Um, it works, works absolutely fine, absolutely spot on. So I'm really happy with this. Um, the, the buttons, the, sorry, the analogs are a little worn down. So I might, I might need to change those, but it's not been opened. Whoever's had it done has had it done at, it says shark seal of approval. I'm not sure. It's sort of, someone's definitely built this um, and put their own sticker on the back, but absolutely fun you don't see that every day do you so three quid cx obviously this is not on the cx website and um, it's got oh as well it's got this lovely feeling um the lovely um i don't know what you'd call it, it like a splatter but it, it's got a nice texture to the hand um really good really really chuffed with that so yeah spider-man xbox one controller pro controller i'm going to be keeping hold of this three quid absolute bargain when i got this home and it worked i was so so chuffed i may i don't think i'm going to take it apart um, because it works fine, I don't want to risk it, but I think I may get some covers to go over the analogs, and I'm definitely going to be keeping hold of that, because that's, that's just absolutely fantastic, that is. You don't see that every day. So I was really chuffed when I saw this, and when I picked this up, there was a lot of people looking over my shoulder wanting me to put that back down, uh, but that definitely wasn't going to happen. This one as well, so this was, I picked up, a, there was a guy who had an Xbox 360 on the floor, couldn't see any games or anything else, but he had a little stack of DVDs. I asked him on the aft chance, um, I picked up these DVDs next to it, I had a little look, couldn't see anything. He was standing right there. I said, I don't suppose you've got any games for the 360. He goes, we've only got one game and it's in that pile, the one I just picked up. So I was like, oh, really? I'm thinking there's no game in there. He picked it up and I can't believe I didn't see this when it was in my hand. God of War Ascension on the PS3 is a steel book. And not only is it a steel book, it is a fantastic condition steel book. I think I've said this before, I'm not a fan of steel books. I like, I like my consistency and the shelves so all, all match and all look the same. But this is absolutely beautiful also a lot of steel books people say that that's a steel book to me that's not a steel book if it doesn't have the slip cover it's incomplete but this is in beautiful condition um i have god of war ascension i haven't played it and um, i played it very briefly but i can't really remember it um very very briefly I'm probably gonna keep hold of this. You can get a good return on this, but I think I might put this with my little side pile of PS3 games because I paid a pound for that, which is fantastic. You just wanted a quid. Um, so I think I'm gonna keep hold of that. It's got, uh, it says it includes exclusive demo for The Last of Us, it's not, it's just a code. Um, but God of War Ascension Steelbook, fantastic pick up for a pound. I'm gonna be keeping hold of that. Um, so the last thing I picked up was this cost me £10, this little bundle. So I first got there and I saw these sitting on the end of someone's table. They are PS3 controllers, as you can probably tell, but they are in fantastic condition. They're not official, but they are in absolutely immaculate condition. And surprisingly, they both work perfectly. I've tested both of these. They are spot on. Um, they're, they're actually really good. They're really stiff. I don't know if they've ever been really been used because I can't see any dirt on them or any signs of wear whatsoever. Um, CX will take third party PS3 controllers, but you don't get too much from them. I think you get about 
three or four pound cash, five or six pound uh, voucher. Um, but I'm tempted to keep hold of these. I haven't decided just yet what I'm doing with those. So I saw them, asked him how much, he said a pound each. So I was like, oh, I'm definitely getting that. As I'm getting the two pound out of my pocket, he suddenly drops down over here, a big stack of Wii games. Now, I don't usually get too excited over a stack of Wii games because most of the time, as I'm sure most of you know, it's full of fodder and they were, they're not that impressive. I goes to him, oh, I'll have a quick look at your Wii as I'm getting my two pound out. There were some fantastic games in there. Absolutely fantastic games. I, I think I took the four best ones because he, I saw them the second he put them down because I was literally there getting these out. I got first dibs, but there was people right on me, right on me. So I took what I could see quickly. He wanted three pound a game. So I had to be quick and precise. So basically I bought these four and these controllers for £10, which I think is a deal, and I'll show you why. So the first one was my mistake, Cooking Mama, uh, Cooking Mama World, Babysitting Mama. I've never seen this before, ever. I did not know this existed, but I knew you get a little bit for Cooking Mama. Um, so I picked it up thinking it might be uh, might be worth a bit. It's not, it's, really, it's like a pound game or something. So that was a dud, so that was unfortunate. However, the next one, Zelda, Twilight Princess. This is in absolutely beautiful condition. All of these, these four Wii games are absolutely immaculate. Um, I don't know where they've got them from, but as you can see, every insert's in there. It's fantastic condition. So the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess for the Wii, I've already got that. So I'm gonna be moving that one on, but that's beautiful. The other one I saw, Super Paper Mario. Fantastic. I, I paid voucher for this a couple years ago. Um, not too much. It was, it's been £15 at some point in CX. That's probably what I paid for it, to be honest with you. Again, look, all the inserts there. Beautiful condition. The disc for this one in particular is abs absolutely fantastic. I'm not sure these have been played. But Super Paper Mario, brilliant. And the last one that was there, Punch Out on the Wii. So this is like a I think it's a £25 game. Um, I, I picked this up from Cash Converters a year or two ago for like a fiver, but it was apparently a £5 at some point in time at uh, at CEX, which is fat. It's got, oh, it's got a receipt in it, actually. Oh, should we see? Hang on, bear with me. Bear with me. 2011. 2011, someone bought this for £5 from CEX. It's about £20, £25 now. Um, so I picked that up off him as well, again immaculate condition. So I got these four games and these two controllers for a tenner, absolute bargain. And believe me, before I could pay him, people were already picking up the rest of the Wii games. I may have missed one or two, um, but believe you me, I, I think you've seen how competitive my car boot can be sometimes for me to have got these four first dibs and these for a tenner. So chuff, so chuff. So this week, as you can tell, some random bits and bobs this week. That's fantastic. Not so great on that Xbox One controller, but it should be okay. Some fantastic Wii titles that you don't see every day and some absolute bargains here. Absolute bargains. And this lovely, uh, this lovely God of War Ascension as well. Fantastic. So I think we've done all right this week. I think we're going to be okay. So I'm going to do that thing. I'm going to go to CX and I'll be back in a minute. I'm back from CEX. The last couple of days has gone really, really well. Really well. So let's do what we always do. Let's start by taking away where everything you just saw cost us £26.50. So let's take £26.50 away. So how do we get that back? How do we get it for free? Pretty much we use Vinted this week. Vinted has been absolutely fantastic. Put a couple things on, got some good results. So punch out. £15, not too bad. A little bit more than what CX give us and a good bit less than what that person would have paid for it in CX as well. So not bad at all. Vice City Stories on the PSP, £5, not bad. Zelda on the Wii, £5 again, not bad. And this one I like, the GTA Liberty City Stories case for the PSP. I put that up for pounds. I thought someone's got to need it. Loads of interest, loads of people looked at it. Um, someone purchased it in the end for a pound. Um, I, before I turned it, I did double check that they were happy that it's just the case, just to make sure. And they replied saying, yeah, I'm just after the case for my loose, my loose disc cartridge, whatever you call those PSP things. Happy as Larry, so that's great, so that's a pound. So on Vinted, we got 26 pounds back which is great. And we did that before I went to CX. So I knew in CX all I needed was 50p. That's pretty much what I've done. Dynasty Warriors 3, I set that to the side, got 80 pence cash for that. So in total, we got 26 pounds 80 back. So let's put that up there. It was a little weird walking in and having just one thing for cash, all the rest of a voucher, obviously, and it being Dynasty Warriors for 80p. She clearly wanted to ask me what that was all about, but she didn't, but good, I, I probably would have asked, but that's how it goes. And then obviously the rest is on a voucher and the voucher's, the voucher's decent. So Call of Duty World at War, two pound. Call of Duty Black Ops 2, eight pound. They took it this week, no questions asked. Guitar Hero 2 for the 360, five pound, not bad. 
bad. Cooking Mama Babysitter, 30p. Not worth it, unfortunately. Super Paper Mario, £7. Wii Sports Resort, £6. San Andreas, £4. GTA 5 on the 360, £3. GTA 4 on the 360, £5 voucher. So you get more for four than you do for five. I didn't know that. Interesting to know. And GTA 5 on the PS4, £10. So in total on voucher, £50.30. £50.30 up there on the voucher table. So that's fantastic. So got all the money back, nice and easy, because it was free, plus 30 pence, you can't moan, and 50 plus pounds on a voucher. That's gonna get us something a little later down the line. So what did we keep? Well, first things first, unfortunately this, I couldn't get it to work. I got it to work for about five seconds with the cable in it, never again. So I don't know if I took the last bit of juice out of it. So unfortunately, this doesn't work, so I didn't take it in. It's not the end of the world, because the case is lovely, the buttons are lovely, it's all fine. So I'm gonna keep hold of it, and later down the line, I'm sure I'm gonna come across an Xbox, um, one controller that works but aesthetically is battered we'll move around jiggery pokery and we'll get ourselves a working xbox one controller so it's not the end of the world it's unfortunate but this doesn't work so this will be set to the side unfortunately what do we keep not too much to be honest not too much game wise just the one game and technically i do already have it but it's god of war ascension this steel book it's just in lovely condition I, I think it looks really nice i don't like i said before i don't usually keep the steel books but i'm going to keep hold of this one because it's free now i think that's a nice thing to have in the collection so i'm keeping hold of that one that's going to the side the other bits of controllers, I've kept hold of these two PS3 controllers. Why? Because they're in lovely condition. They look practically brand new. Uh, I tested them and they're so stiff. They, do, they just feel brand new. And I didn't want to give them away because CX only give you about three or four pound cash, a couple quid more on voucher. And I just feel like if I find a PS3 later down the line, sometimes I do need spare controllers to sell them on, move them on. Um, so I'll keep hold of these because they could come in handy, add more value later down the line for that. So keeping hold of these, really happy to find them. And like I say, I have tested both of them. They work really, really well. So keeping hold of that. And the last thing to keep is something I'm really, really chuffed to have found. You don't see this every day. It's not something you can walk into CEX and pick up. It's this Spider-Man themed Xbox One Pro controller. I have had a lot, you can get some, um, you know, some thumb thumb grips to put on top of the analogs. You can get Spider-Man ones as well, which I think are look pretty cool. So I'm gonna order myself some of these. But yeah, really glad to pick something up that you can't just walk into CX and find. You don't see these things too often. And again, it works fantastically. I, I have already used it for a good hour. and didn't notice any problems with it whatsoever. So that's fantastic to be added. So this week, all the money back, 30, 30p profit. 50 pound voucher profit, which is fantastic. And we've got some, some quirky little bits to be adding to my collection. So um, yeah, I cannot complain, can you? Can't complain at all. That 50 pound voucher, that'll, that'll go towards something really good uh, later on in the year. But looking forward to spending it. So thank you very, very, very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves.